This is open segmenting. It's got gaps between each piece. We're not going to cover this in this class. The, the two different types of segmenting are two totally different things. It takes uh, different jigs and everything for the two, so we're going to focus just on solid segmenting for this class. We're going to use basic tools. We're not going to get into all the expensive tools. We're going to do this as if nobody's turned bowls and stuff before. We're going to go over blueprinting completely to where you'll be able to blueprint anything you want to do. Then we're going to cover bases. There's, there's two different types of bases. This one has a floating disc in it and, and that's the preferred base to any bowl or vase or anything you make in segmenting. It helps with the expansion and contraction of the wood. And we'll go over a solid base. It's very important getting the size of your segments right. With this bowl, we did 24 segments. If you're an eighth inch off, by the time you cut 24 segments, you're 24 eighths off. So that's like three inches. The half inch scraper I used almost solely for the first couple of years because I didn't know how to use, I didn't know how to sharpen a bowl gouge and didn't know how to use one. I've made open segmented, regular segmented, I've made big regular bowls out of uh, big solid pieces of wood all with a half inch scraper. Now it's not the correct tool to use but it's what I was comfortable with and I didn't get into a bowl gouge for probably a couple of years after I had started. That's the, the tool you want to use but there's a big learning curve with it.